today i will explain about logical functions this category is pending so far these are all completed and i will explain about logical functions today and these functions perform logical evolutions they will return true or false and they may perform conditional evolution and they may verify existence. Three types of operations logical functions perform. True false, conditional evolution, existence. Explain you one by one. And if all arguments are true, it returns true. If any argument is false, it returns false. In academics, we studied about this. or any argument is true true if all false false not negation change false to true true to false if error evaluates the error if there is an error it returns respect to result if single condition validation if it is true, true part operation. False, false part operation. Switch. Multi condition evolution. Instead of writing nested if functions, multiple if functions, we can go to switch. In, in the list of values. However, SQL language level in works the same way. And whatever I explained so far available in SQL language and many other programming languages. True, it logical, or it returns logical value true. False, it returns the logical value false, that is explicitly. And I never worked on bit shift, bit n, bit r, these functions. Mm -hmm. So I'm not explaining. Coalesce, very important one in SQL language and many places. It always written first not null value. If eager, not required. So these are the important logical functions available in Power BI. And logical operators also available. If you want to write end, no need to go to end. You can use this operator. If you want to write R, no need to go to R function. You can use this operator. Logical operator. I will use all this and construct multiple examples. Kindly focus. This practical very clearly available in the material. You can look into the material. And this is parent child function material I already shared with you. Hoping you got this material. Function, description, syntax, scenario, practical. Function, description, syntax, scenario, practical. The same way logical functions material also you will receive today. I am opening the previously saved Power BI desktop file, NEM batch. And we can apply these logical functions. Measure wise and column wise, both the places. And I will show you measure and column both. Simple way practice. 
dax measure new measure logical measure end of logical one logical two checks whether all arguments are true and returns true if all arguments are true if any argument is false it returns false and greater than nine five greater than six this is true and this is false true and false ultimately false click save Now take this logical measure on this. You can take R class, R function. One of them true is true. If all false, false. 10 greater than 9 is true. So the result is true. because this is true now for this result you want to take negation not this is giving true so the negation is false next this is true so not is false. If error, value, value if error. Take 25 by 5. If there is an error, the return value. But this is a valid expression, so no error. And 25 is 0. This is error. So, 4 nines. Now it is returning 4 nines. Next. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Instead of, uh, can we pass um, instead of uh, 9999 uh, in any uh, letter value, uh, like error or something else? No, it is expecting only value. Thank you. Value if error. Only value, not a text. In case you want to return text value, there is a function called error. This function we need to use. This will return error message. Next, I will go to next category if logical test result true. Single condition it will evaluate. If it is true, true part. If it is false, false part. I will take like this 10 greater than 9 operator and operator 5 greater than 6. If it is true and I want to return explicitly true. If it is false, explicitly false. What is the result? This is single condition true false but operator end so ultimately false 
So it will go to false and gives you this result. Next. I'll take R class. Either of them true, true. So true, it will return. And I will take better example. If sum of factable discount fee more than 10 lakhs reached. Otherwise, business value not reached or business target not reached. If this condition satisfied, reached. If this condition not satisfied, not reached. Single condition evolution. Click on it. Maybe not more than this, so not reach. What if you change the condition? Less than, maybe reach. Success. Next, I'll show you better examples. This is a course table. And I'll remove these columns. Now right click, new column, duration type. equal to first let me explain my scenario need duration type for each course duration based on the below conditions a less are equal to 20 Fast track. More than 20, less or equal to 30. Less or equal to 50. Normal track. More than 50. Unknown. This is what I want to show, four conditions. Now go to duration type. If dim course duration less or equal to 20, pass track, comma. If that means more than 20 
if dim course duration less than or equal to 30. More than 20, less than 30. If more than 30, then again, if dim course duration less or equal to 50, normal track. Finally, unknown. Click save. So first value 30, it will go to this fails. Then it will go to this success. So customized 50, it will go to this fails. It will go to this fails success. So normal track like this one by one value passed to this and perform operations. And how many conditions we are having? This is condition one, condition two, condition three, one more condition for four conditions especially three conditions the fourth one is optional so how many if classes are used first if second if third if that two if inside another if and this is called nested if comma three conditions we need Three if clauses. You can simplify this process. How? For too many conditions, we don't go like this. Always we prefer switch class. Right click, new column. duration type one equal to switch mention true always bypasses the condition result now write dim course duration less than or equal to 20 fast track dim course duration less than or equal to 30 customized dim course duration less or equal to 50 normal track otherwise unknown click save Same result. This is true. Course duration less than 20, fast track. Less than 30, customize. Less than 50, normal track. Otherwise, unknown. Excuse me, sir. Yes, madam. Sir, why have you used true over here after, yeah. after, after switch? What is the significance of this? True, I'm going true. to explain the same, madam. Okay, sir. So, yeah, true indicate bypassing the condition not considering any column not considering any expression so 30 it will bypass to next so from here the progress will start and we will take true when we are using inequality operator these are called inequality operator that time true is required in case equality operator you are using the no need of true see this example the same example i will write like this New column, 
duration type to equal to which dim course duration comma 20 comma fast track 30 comma customized 40 comma normal track 50 comma normal track and if no track you know unknown as you are mentioning here a column name no need of true the same result and here equal to operation 20 fast track 30 customers 40 so switch works very effective when you go for equal to operator because column name once and you perform even inequality also good, but we need to take true as the first argument. And if you see this and this, in case 23 available, this function does not work. 23 comes under customized training, whereas the previous switch function here works. Because less than or equal to 30, where 23 fall under, it will give you the result. Whereas here, only 20, 30, 40, 50 matching, you will get it. And remaining, you will find blank value. Which value? blank value blank value or unknown value i explain about nested if and drawbacks switch inequality operation evolution equality operation evolution and there are two simple functions available i will close it first one in class my question is this Display Hyderabad, comma, Vizag, location total value. This I want to find out. And display MSBA fast track and Power BA fast track. total discount fee value in that situation just go to new measure discount fee logical no problem A equal to Calculate expression total discount fee, comma. This is a previously created measure. Dim location, but location column is not proper. For the time being, I will take course. Course ID in the list of. Mention the list of values here. MSBA fast track. Power BA fast track. The course ID in MSBA fast track and Power BA fast track. Click save. Now I will take this value in the card. You are finding total discount fee. When the course ID in MSBA fast track and Power BI fast track. Similarly, locations. Location ID in Vizag and Hyderabad. Then you will get the result. And however, we use in class in the SQL language, the same way we use in class in this area.
தல்வி நெக்ஸ்ட் லாஸ்ட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஐ வில் கிரியேட் எ டேபிள் ஹோம் மெனு ஐ எம் கிரியேட்டிங் எ நியூ டேபிள் employee name permanent address current address temporary address 1 2 3 people available permanent address hyderabad current address mumbai temporary address vizag for him mumbai and vizag for him only vizag available employee address table name click load now i will go to this table blank value blank value blank value i want to consider these as null values how i will tell you why i am considering null value also i want to consider this null value go to this click on this transform data employee address so both are highlighted wherever blank available i want to take as null right click replace value replace with null click okay null value home menu close and apply and go to this this is the one but here we are having null value not showing it what is my question display for each employee one address comma comma or one address in the order of permanent if it is not available current address if this is not available temporary address so i need this result for one permanent address available hyderabad for two permanent not available so current address mumbai for three permanent not available current not available so temporary available this is the one one hyderabad two permanent not available mumbai three these two not available why sir and if you want to do it there is a function available in sql language and dax language coles i will use coles right click new column 
address of customer equal to colleagues you can write value one value two value three etc but first not null value it will give you right here permanent address temporary address my concept is current address if current not available temporary address brace close one hyderabad two mumbai three visa this is a function it is giving data like this so for every customer verify permanent address this place not available current address not available so if permanent address available displays not available current address current address not available temporary address and these are the logical functions available and I explain all the functions the same functions you can practice through DAX studio also I'm writing here DAX Studio. Connect. I'm connecting to the data set. See how I'm writing a value. Brace a row of one column name valid. End of 10 greater than 9, 5 greater than 6, comma. R of 10 greater than 9, 5 greater than 6. Error check. If error of 25 by 0, comma 999. One row I am generating with three columns and result. Possible run now false column name result column name result column name and result this is a row operation now i will go to column add columns dim course table duration type in new comma dim course but write if class if dim course duration less or equal to 20 fast track if dim course duration Less than or equal to 30. Customized. Again, if dim course duration less than or equal to 50. Normal try. Finally, unknown. nested if successfully completed run the result somewhere wrong uh, true 
You forgot to. One more brace available. I want to format the query so that you can see better. This is for this. This is for add column and one more brace for evaluate. Run. Brace mistake. So dim course. This is a course table. Now I'm adding this one. This is the one. This expression as well. This is a way. If you want to run in the DAX Studio, DAX Studio also you can run. So I explain logical functions, execution in Power BI desktop and DAX studio. Kindly practice.